This podcast is brought to you by our Patreon supporters. If you'd like to help expand our programming, head to patreon.com forward slash talk star wars and become a tsw patron you'll receive exclusive podcasts access to a vip facebook group monthly prize draws facebook live sessions and much much more head to patreon.com forward slash talk star wars and become a tsw patron today and the force will be with you always Can you, can you guys hear my Mac overheating in the background? <laughs> See if you're active, because I'm seeing nothing again. You are indeed active. I, I can see your comments there, but there's nothing on my little screen. So Facebook, you failed again. And I'm doing the thing where if I scroll to the right it says video only mode swipe to the left to reveal comments swipe to the left nothing there are no comments what are you gonna do i'm watching i'm reading the site anyway so i'll get your comments from the main facebook page hello jp hello mr phillips oi oi uh, ian's asking is there a full house for mrs p tonight no there's not uh, Rob is off this evening. Um, one of my co-hosts is unwell. One guess who that is, and the other one's probably going to be late. So it's uh, <laughs> it's going well. <laughs> I'm doing the draw tonight. It's a little bit earlier than usual this month because because um, we're not going to be around next week. We're going to be having a week off, which I think, judging by how Stephen is falling apart, is probably well time. Certainly is for me. I'm exhausted. Hello, Katie. How are you? Good to see you too, Adam. Sorry, I'm trying to read. I'm trying to read the comments off the main screen and then talk to this camera. And I wonder if I can move. Oh no, I won't. But see, this is a nightmare. The sooner Facebook page. Corey, hello. Right. Shall I? Shall I go ahead and do this prize draw? This month, I want to give away the Legends of Luke Skywalker novel that comes out. I don't think it's out yet. I think it's out very soon. Let me, um, oh, I'm going to order it and send it straight to someone. So whenever it's released, you'll get it. The beard is gone. Force ghost beard ASAP. <laughs> Hello, Dave, by the way. Dave, we actually spoke live last week and I didn't have the beard. I haven't had the beard for weeks. <laughs> Ian says, are you using an R2-D2 Tombola? No. I, Ian, I'll show you what I'm using. It's... A stormtrooper helmet and of course he will be upside down with all the names in so Dave says I know but your shining eyes stopped me noticing you old smoothie Dave flattering me hello Rob how are you sir you made my day today Rob with the Amazon post we had the Kindle with the uh, with hindsight on it it still freaks me out seeing seeing that very strange it's a very strange experience, all of this. Adam says Mark's got a sparkle in his eyes, fueled by Jack Daniels. <laughs> sparkle. It's the extensive, extensive lighting kit. I've got this rig around, so I don't look like an old hobo. Right, Dave says, what if it gets picked up to be a film? We get a bit baggage parts as extras. Um, well, hindsight, as you know, started as a script, so it better get picked up as a film and get back to its roots. Um, and of course, Dave, there's a character in there named after you, so you'd better be on. You'd better be free to be an extra in that movie when it happens. When it happens, of course, it's going to happen. I'm not sure we're ready to make any more announcements about hindsight yet, but there are some. There's some talk between the three of us at the moment. So wait to see where that goes. But it's um, very exciting. I hope to be able to get physical copies done as well. But <laughs> Dave says, prepare to, prepare to hear from his extensive legal team for the character that's named after him. I think you'll be pleased. And there's another uh, a TSW member who gets a name check as well. We've got um, lots of stories to tell about how this book came to be and uh 
Tim at the nerd room wants to sit down with the three of us at some point and chat about it so we can get all this stuff down in audio form. Yeah, Tim is the man for that interview. Yeah, he's been there's a the cover art for the book has actually got a quote from Tim on it because he's read he was one of our independent readers. So he's read it and um and that put him in a unique position to be able to give us a cover quote, which is pretty cool. A nerd room interview on Hyde site. Yeah, that is coming. Let's do this draw now. We've got quite a few people on, so we can get away with it. Got names. Everybody where's the camera? Everybody's name is in there. Going in there. And I've also got um everybody who uh empty. Every name from last month, the winner's circle is pinned up here so I know exactly who to whose name to put back in the hat. Right. Okay. First name at random. Oh, only name at random. Oh, we've just been talking about him. Tim. Tim, you have won the copy of um, The Legends of Luke Skywalker. So I'll get that sent to you i know that you're out of the country at the moment mate but um i'll i'll message you so that you know way to go timothy says ads <laughs> are you enjoying the daily podcast i know i know it's a bit erratic some mornings it's really long and some mornings it's um like just about 15 10 or 15 minutes but for trying to get the shows produced every day and get them out every day especially when i start work early is quite quite a challenge so that sometimes dictates how much um i can squeeze into a show i try and make them at least 15 minutes but some mornings when i've got more time i can go a little bit longer and sort of get to that half hour mark adam says the daily is superb and says yes daily pod is brilliant thank you very much I see some people have been enjoying that countdown to the uh, movie's releases, so I'll um, continue to do that. I've just got Poppy coming in. Come in, Pops. Those fireworks disturbing you again. Right, the dog's now under the desk because the fireworks scare her. Uh, Joe says, yep, still listening to the daily as much as possible. It usually accompanies my morning coffee before I properly get up. That's nice. Brandon says the longer the dailies are the longer he can drown out his supervisor in the morning <laughs> Katie says the daily is good thank you very much what are you doing <laughs> come out of there is, is Poppy a Gungan have you seen Poppy she's not she's got the ears for a Gungan would you like to see Poppy yeah Poppy come here come here people want to see you come here come here here we go ready oh there you are Here's my little co-host for this evening. Look over here, look. Can you look at the camera so people can see you? Show Poppy. There you go, Dave. There's Poppy, look here, look. Look at the camera. Your adoring public want to see you, don't they? Oh, bless, look. Poppy, uh, everyone's saying hello. Katie says, seeing Poe on the Falcon was the most interesting thing she's seen all week. Do you think that's him flying that Falcon through the um, through the mine on Crate? Yeah, look, Corey says, you're beautiful, Poppy. He says, you're beautiful. Look, at, look into the camera for Corey. Katie says, cute doggy. Does Poppy like Avatar? Do you like Avatar? You can say no. You like Avatar, don't you? Blue cats. What can I tell you? You like cats. <laughs> How does 3PO get on the Falcon later in the movie? Yeah, I did spot that in that behind the scenes reel that 3PO was on the Falcon. Um, yeah, they gave a little bit, they gave something away there, didn't they? So the Falcon, and we see Chewie on the Radus as well, I think. Do you want to get down, darling? We need to stay there if you want. Uh, we see 
uh, Chewie on the Radus talking to Leia. So I think the Falcon's going to rejoin the Resistance fleet at some point. Only lizard folk like Avatar. Rob's just called you lizard folk, Poppy. I don't know how you feel about that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put you down. <laughs> Katie says her dog makes the same face as you when she talks about cats, Poppy. There you are then. Move out of the way. Good girl. Yeah, so... um. We also got the reveal of um, third act Ray in Snoke's throne room as well. I think we kind of knew that from that second trailer, but it was good to see that image anyway. I'm sure there's more in there. And there's a really cool image of Luke out at the moment as well with his library, his Jedi library. Is everyone? Joe says, is everyone sufficiently hyped for Battlefront 2? I'm kind of... Is Omer on? I haven't seen him pop up yet. Hello, Omer. Um, Joe, Battlefront 2, since I saw the single player mode, I'm infinitely more interested. I wasn't overly keen when it was just, when I, when I thought it was just the online gaming. Ray won't be laughing that hard in the film. No, but Daisy Ridley can't stop herself from just being gorgeous, can she? Katie says she's nearly, uh, Jay's on, hello Jay. Katie says she's nearly completed Inferno Squadron. Great book. Rob Phillips is going for the Xbox One. Did you see the Brad Bird mock SOTE poster yesterday? Shadows of the Empire. Nick, Nick Cage is Dash Render. That sounds genius, Jay. I'm going to have to check that out. That's brilliant. Ads. What do you think about Ray Snoke's scene we've seen in the trailer being a flash forward? from a training and actually the ending is still unknown. There's a lot of people at the moment who are talking about force visions and flash forwards and flashbacks and all sorts of stuff. And it seems to be the go-to way of explaining away things that we don't quite understand because we're seeing them in trailers out of context. I think that's in the movie. I honestly think that's part of the film. I think it's part of the third act of the film. I don't necessarily think that that suggests Ray's fate. I think Ray might end up on crate after the um, issues on the supremacy in Snoke's throne room. But I think there's a uh, people have a real tendency right now to just blame everything on or explain everything away as being a flashback or a flash forward or a force vision. I think things are going to be a lot more linear in this film than we're giving it credit for right now. I'm especially interested in that shot in the second behind the scenes reel of Ray with the staff in the rain. I'm, I'm definitely getting the impression that she and Luke square off against each other. I'll be talking about that a bit more in the in the podcast tonight, I think. But I definitely think there's going to be trouble between Ray and Luke. Hey, Ian, thanks for joining us, mate. Thank you. We'll try and have a good show. We'll speak to you later. And see you later, Brandon. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, the staff shot is interesting. It's... um. I'm going to talk about it a little bit in the in the podcast tonight, but um, that scene where Ray has the staff, I believe that calls back to a scene where Luke is inside one of those little stone huts. Dave, can you remind me what the stone huts are called? It's got, they've got a beautiful name. Um, and the hut blows apart, explodes with the uncontained power of the force. Somebody loses it and blows one of these huts apart. Initially, we heard it was Luke that was blowing that hut apart because he lost his temper. Now I'm beginning to think it might have been Ray. And looking at the way she puts Luke down in that rain, it makes me think that it could be Ray. Now, it could... Dave's saying beehive huts. I thought there was a more official name for it, Dave. Um, yeah, the way she puts Luke down, I'm thinking that perhaps... She might lose her temper and go after him, like blow up the hut and then go after him to put him in his place. Or he blows up the hut and her reaction to being afraid of Luke is to get really super aggressive. Ads thinks that that whole thing with Ray attacking Luke is a good shout. We'll see. Anybody seen the theory that's been floating around that Luke's green saber has Qui-Gon's kyber crystal? Yeah, we spoke about that a long time ago, that that 
probably makes sense that the transit of property goes from Qui-Gon to Obi-Wan on Naboo and then Obi-Wan keeps Qui-Gon's lightsaber. We had a conversation about how that becomes a possession that's very un-Jedi-like, but then once you get around that, yep, the crystal will find its way into Obi-Wan's belongings on Tatooine and that's where Luke got the crystal to put into the green saber by the time we get to um return the Jedi so that's in the that's in Luke's Jedi saber which I'm beginning to think if it's not in R2 was taken by Kylo when he defeated Luke and bled and he fractured it so at the heart of Kylo Ren's lightsaber is Qui-Gon's shattered crystal which gives that a nice heritage and Luke has what's left of Darth Vader's crystal, which is Kirikin Falar's crystal from the comic books. He has that around his neck, and I think he might heal that, end up with a white-bladed lightsaber. And uh, and Joe says, there's images going around suggesting that Kylo has two sabers in the flashback scene in TFA. Yeah, he has the Jedi. Um, he has the Jedi hilt. And they recropped the scene so that you couldn't see it on screen so it essentially makes that not quite canon at this point yeah it does um joe is saying cool fit i think it does make sense and it is a really interesting sort of flow narratively for the the lightsabers of star wars and they all have they have kind of a heritage then i think we've been taught about the bleeding of crystals and the repairing of crystals for a reason poppy it's okay done just fireworks but i think um what we're going to find is we've been shown those things for a reason and they're showing us those things because they want to explain why Luke is going to have a white bladed lightsaber in The Last Jedi. Have a top show herding cats. I only got two cats tonight ads. It shouldn't be too too difficult. And one of them is slightly injured. So, Right, okay, everybody. Thank you very much for the well wishes for a good show. Um, we're going to try... I think we're going to try and record Tuesday. I really don't want to miss a week, but I'm going to be traveling at the end of next week, so I'm not going to be able to record. I've banked a whole bunch of content, so you guys won't go without anything. There's some interesting stuff coming. It may not be good, but it should be interesting. Um, thank you, Corey. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Mr. Donovan. Thank you, Mr. Jennings. Thanks, Adam, everybody. Thank you so much for the well wishes. We'll try and record on Tuesday. I want to try and do a listener comms heavy show so if you've got anything you want to throw at us then please do in the meantime i'll speak to the guys make sure we can get our schedule synced up and do a show on tuesday otherwise i will let you know if we can't record a proper show we might have to have a week off which i don't want to do but we might have to do that um but there is a bunch of stuff coming your way anyway um that you should enjoy i think all right thank you very much everybody and i will speak to you all later